Hello, this is Rafa. Welcome to another page in my homesteading diary. Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to be transplanting broccolini and Brussels sprouts into larger spaces. So I've started with a base of potting soil, then I added some peat moss, now I'm adding some mushroom compost, and I'm adding some manure and compost, the combination there. Now I'm adding some perlite, and I'm topping it all off with bone meal. And yes, once again, I forgot to wear a mask. Mix, 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 mix it up. Note to self, you don't have to conquer it all at one time. This was too much. I really should have split this into two batches. Whew. I had a time trying to get all of this incorporated. When I planted the broccolini and Brussels sprouts, I was more concerned with form than function. After I planted them and I pulled up some videos watching how they grow, it dawned on me these things get pretty big, kind of on the massive side. So this is a no-go. I just removed these broccolinis from the little uh, cylinder blocks that they were in. I felt like the roots needed, like it, they were being a little too confined. I feel like these plants are gonna grow way bigger than the space that I originally uh, had intended. So I'm gonna put them in these grow bags. Uh, I plan on putting one per bag and uh, we'll see how that goes. I tried to get as much of the roots as possible because they really were off to a good start and I probably should have left well enough alone. But anyhow, I'm so excited. Look at my little broccolinis. So here I have replanted the broccolini and the Brussels sprouts. Both of them are in the brassica family and hopefully, I've been pleased with the progress so far, but hopefully they'll take, up, take off even more. I am going to um, move a few of the other ones over here, but I have to prepare some more soil and bags for those and you don't need to see all that is going to be more of the same. But anyways, they are very cold hardy and they actually taste better the more that they are in low temperatures. So I'm fine with them being out, out here and I'll cover everything else. I'm doing a great bit of repurposing of my spaces. I'll probably be moving my lettuces over to that plot uh, and taking them out of the salad bowl or I might do both. I might. We eat a lot of salad, so I'll probably just do lettuce in both locations. I met a lady at the uh, garden department and she said that she had purchased starter broccolis and Brussels sprouts last year. And although they grew a lot of leaves, they never produced any of the actual vegetable. And I was hoping that that would not be my fate. So I'm beyond excited to see that I have broccolinis coming up. Now, I just have to hope that I didn't do anything that was gonna, that's gonna destroy them by transplanting them, but I don't think I have. As you could see, we, my husband and I put this plywood down to put the grow bags on. 
He's going to come out later and drill holes in them for drainage, even though it's kind of on a slope, so the water's going to just roll off anyway. But because it's a wide surface, we don't want to create huge puddles of water. So he's going to drill some holes for drainage. Everything's looking nice and healthy and green. I'm going to give them a little bit of rainwater. I'm not going to do too much uh, because we are expecting rain tomorrow. Yay! So I'm just going to give a little bit uh, to get them settled in their new home. I'm adding about a tablespoon of Epsom salt to each plant. Not only is the magnesium good for the plants, but it also helps control slugs. I decided to add a little fish emulsion, so I'm back doing that. And it's very good on the leaves as well. It won't burn the leaves, it just penetrates and adds nutrients a little faster. Now I'm spraying with an all-natural solution that I created to repel pests and rodents. I'll do a short video about it later. We'll watch and see how they go. Thanks for stopping by with another episode of Tuesday's Chow. This channel promotes the goodness in life. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. And above all, prosper and be in good health.